Hey everybody, betanews.com readers, YouTube viewers, Brian Fajoli here with another unboxing video. And today, pretty wide box there, I have an Acer Chromebox CXI. Um, Chromebox is kind of like a Chromebook without a screen on it. It's essentially um, a desktop computer. Um, so this one uh, comes with a keyboard and mouse. Um, so let's say you have an aging, you know, let's say you suddenly have a really old Windows desktop that you want to upgrade. Well, you get rid of that Windows desktop, you plug this into your existing monitor, and you have a computer. Um, I'm a big fan of Chrome OS. I'm also a big fan of Windows. I'm not, you know, I'm not dedicated to one or the other. Um, I like both. Um, for different reasons. Um, so let's go ahead and, and open this up here. Take a look at the box first. So on the back, let's see. It is... OS is Chrome. CPU is a 2957U processor. Uh, RAM 4 gigs. I believe they make a 2 gig model as well. This is 4 gigs and I highly recommend 4 gigs of RAM on a Chrome uh, Chromebook or a Chrome box. Anything running Chrome OS, uh, basically. Um, so let's see, we have 16 gigs of onboard storage, which, you know, for, let's say, a Windows machine would be really small, but because Chrome OS is very cloud-centric, um, you know, you don't need too much internal memory. Um, you know, I on, on Chrome OS, I usually will maybe download a picture from the internet, uh, you know, locally, but I end up uploading it to, um, to the cloud. So, wireless LAN and Bluetooth. USB keyboard and a USB optical mouse. Um, this should likely work, uh, this will absolutely work with um, the new uh, K480 Logitech keyboard, which is a really great keyboard. Um, so since that's Bluetooth um, and does support Chrome, um, should work here too. Let's see. I'm going to pull out my knife. And, oh, actually, Looks like the tape is already cut. I just have to figure out how to pull this out here. Okay, and there we go. Inside the box, let's see what we have here. First things first is the setup guide, which for Chrome should be rather short. Um, step one, connect the mouse and keyboard. Um, okay. Step two. Okay, so it has HDMI and DisplayPort, so connect either HDMI or DisplayPort. I wonder if this supports, I don't remember if Chrome OS supports dual, it should, I mean, yeah, maybe it does support dual monitor to check it out. Um, so you can either connect the network, it has wired Ethernet or wireless. You connect the power cord and you're good to go. So very easy setup. Also in the box is a safety and green notice. Um, safety, we don't need you safety. We're not safe in this house, we play with knives. Um, so we'll just throw that aside. Um, let's see what else we have here. Oh, this is cool. This looks like a, um, a Visa mount, so you could kind of, um, V-E-S-A, -E um, so you can mount this on the back of a monitor, um, which essentially almost turns it into like a a small, um, kind of like an all-in-one computer almost. I mean, you're basically attaching the Chrome box to the back of a monitor. So let's see what else we have here. So here is a power plug, which is really nice because it's not a power brick. So it shouldn't take up any room on, let's say, if you have a, um, open this bad boy up here. If you're using a power strip, you can see here, this plugs into the Chrome box. And this is just a standard plug and there's no brick so it's not going to take up a huge amount of space which is cool um this is a base so if you want to stand it up straight rather than lay it flat um it has screws on the bottom so you can um add a base to it let's see here also in the box is a mouse and it's kind of a cheesy mouse you know a mouse is a mouse but you know, it's a very basic mouse. So inside the box is a, looks like an optical mouse from Acer. Um, feels really good. 
As a matter of fact, these these basic mice will probably last a hundred years. I mean, um, but there's no side buttons. There's no tilt to scroll, or is there? No, it's just a just a little loose. Um, so you know, just your very basic run of the mill mouse. But I like that. Like I said, these are these are like indestructible. These types of mice, and it feel it does feel good in the hand. Yeah, I like it. Basic, you know, USB mouse. Of course, you can upgrade that if you want. Let's see. Oh, hmm. Oh, so I am mistaken. So there is a there is a brick now. Um, let's take that out of the box. There is a power brick. So actually, the other wire plugs into this, and then this plugs into the Chrome box. Um, but again, it's still not going to take up any extra room on a power strip. It's, you know, it's it's still uh, just going to take up one spot, which is cool. Put the Chrome box itself to the side for a moment. Inside we have a keyboard box. Um, guessing it just slides out. It does. Throw the box to the side. Throw the plastic to the side. And we have your run-of-the-mill USB keyboard. The keys feel a little, um, like a little spongy like. It's not, not, they're not very stiff. But it's actually pretty nice. There's good spacing between the keys. And there are feet on the bottom, so you can prop it up, which I like. Um, pretty cool. On the top, you have your chrome controls. Um, very cool. Um, like most Chrome uh, keyboards, there's no cap locks key, which I like because I cap locks I, I very rarely use except for hitting it by mistake. Um, uh, one of my favorite things though is to take a screenshot, which I believe is Control and um, Window there. Um, very cool. Very nice keyboard. It's not a it's not a hundred dollar keyboard by any means, but it's it will do. It's actually, it's actually pretty nice. I like it. So the star of the show is the actual Chrome box. So it comes inside of a little cardboard box. I'm going to throw that to the floor. Uh, I'm going to take it off take this plastic. And we have the Chrome box. So it's an Acer Chrome box. So let's take a look at the back. At the back, let's see. We have a fan, a Kensington lock port. Is it a fan port? Uh, I see a heat sink. I, heat, I see a heat sink behind this. I don't know if there's a fan. It might be fanless. Um, this may just be for heat, you know, for heat to go out. Um, but yeah, it is kind of like a fan, um, like a fan grill, although all I see is a heat sink in there, so it might be fanless. Probably is fanless, but I'm not sure. Um, Kensington lock port, if you wanted to lock this to like a desk, you can put like a cable in there. It goes around like the leg of a desk or something. Um, we have a head port, a headphone port slash microphone port if you wanted to put in a headset. That's actually pretty cool. Um, display port and HDMI, that's really cool to have both. Some monitors nowadays only support one or the other. Um, but DisplayPort seems to be winning that battle, believe it or not. I thought HDMI. Uh, HDMI is probably more prevalent, but DisplayPort seems to be um, what more companies are using. Uh, let's see. Two USB 3.0 ports on the back. That's pretty cool. Um, you know, I guess that one would get taken up by the keyboard, one would get taken up by the mouse. Um, you have your hardwired Ethernet port there and the power port in the bottom. So like I said, the, the back back to USB 3.0 parts will be taken up by the keyboard and mouse, but on the front, on the front we have two more USB 3.0 ports. So you can put a flash drive in there, um, pretty much anything you want. A USB audio like um, DACs, DACs, um, they uh, some of them are supported in Chrome OS. Um, so you know there's different things you can plug in there. Um, very cool. Uh, also on the front is an SD card slot. Um, it's only for SD, not micro SD, so you will need an adapter uh, if that's what you use. Um, or if you use like a Sony memory stick or something like that, uh, you'd have to get a USB card reader. This is strictly SD. Um, on the front is a pretty big power button. 
and there's looks like it might be a little LED right under it but it's extremely small so let's say you can lay it flat like that if you want to on your desk but really I think most people are gonna want to put it up like this and it stands uh, on its own it stands up fine but you can also attach this base which I don't have a screwdriver with me right now but just just imagine um, that's how it would look on let's say your desk or something uh, it takes up very little room um, let me put the, the mouse next to it just so you understand how small it is. Um, that's how small the Chrome box is. Um, so very, very cool. Small footprint. Um, Chrome OS is great. You know, you can't really get viruses. Um, it's starting to run Android apps. Um, you know, if, you, if you're just surfing the web, writing papers, um, you need like a word processor, uh, you want to review some YouTube videos, go on Facebook, go on Twitter... They're really, really great. I mean, Chrome OS is great. Chrome, Chrome books, Chrome boxes are great. Um, I, you know, I, I still love Windows. Uh, Windows 10 is phenomenal. Um, so there, there's usages for, you know, for both. There's uses for both. Um, so yeah, definitely, definitely looks like a great, great machine. And it is powered by Intel. So um, Chrome OS is a Linux-based operating system. However, if you want to run a traditional um, operating system, a traditional Linux-based uh, distro. Um, you can likely do that as well. And since this has four gigs of RAM, HDMI and DisplayPort out, USB 3.0, um, you know, since it's it's an Intel-based processor, this should run something like Ubuntu, like a Champ. So if you wanted to get a cheap um, little Linux box, let's say you didn't even want Chrome OS, so you could likely put um, Ubuntu on here or a similar distro, which I will play with. Um, but I think the real real place for this to shine is with Chrome OS. Um, so there you go. Uh, once again, Brian Fajoli with betanews.com with the new Chromebooks, uh, sorry, Chromebox uh, CXI by Acer. Uh, and speaking of Acer, Acer is one of my, my favorite companies as well because they, they produce a lot of quality hardware for low prices. So it's inexpensive and not cheap. Those two words are not interchangeable. It's quality hardware uh, at an inexpensive price. So um, that's one of the reasons I love Acer. So there you go, and we will be reviewing this for betanews.com very shortly. Thank you for watching.